Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing a full face of Huda Beauty. I am so excited. This is absolutely one of my favorite brands. I'm obsessed with so many of the products. So many of them are like holy grail products for me. I reach for all the time. But today the star of the show is actually the newest product. This is the Legit Lashes Mascara. I just got this in the mail and we are going to be comparing this to my current favorite, the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mixed with the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. These two together have been like my favorites lately, but I'm gonna see if one mascara can replace both of them. So if you wanna see my first impression results on the new mascara and a full face of Huda Beauty, then sit back, relax, enjoy this video, and don't forget, like this video, subscribe below, and hit that notification bell. Okay, back, makeup free. And usually I start with my eyes, but today I'm gonna mix it up and we're gonna start with my complexion. So I'm gonna be diving in with both of the primers from Huda. I have the Matte Perfection Primer and then I have the Complexion Perfection Primer. So this one's more the hydrating, pore filling kind of situation. And the Matte Perfection is exactly how it sounds. It's just gonna mattify and kind of smooth out the skin. So I kind of use these like in conjunction with each other. This one, you really, the Matte Perfection one. You really, really want to kind of shake up because it has powders in it. So you also want to use this kind of sparingly. So all I do is you'll kind of see, I wonder if you can tell, even in the tube here, it's kind of a milky texture. I just rip some of that out. Not a ton, you don't need a lot of product. Just work that into my fingers. And then I only press that into the areas that need it and get a little bit shiny throughout the day. And then everywhere else where I need a little bit of hydration, and just generally smooth out my skin. I'll go in with the Complexion Perfection Primer, and it is so beautiful. It's super thick. It smells so good. If you've never used a Huda product, let me tell you, saddle up, because everything besides, I think, the Tantor and the Shadows, is everything is fragrance, and I really love it. I think it smells amazing. Feels so good on the skin. This is one of my top five favorite primers. I just did a video on that, I'll link that below. It is amazing, one of my favorites. I even put it over the top of the other matte primer because it's still gonna do its job underneath. I still need a little bit of hydration, that pore filling aspect on the surface, but I love how my skin is feeling. I am so, so ready, so let's dive into foundation. Okay, moving on to the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. This is arguably one of their most popular products. It's very polarizing. People are either really obsessed with it, me, or they hate it and it's just like not their thing. They cannot stand it. But I am obsessed with this foundation. It is absolutely, I'm gonna say like, I think it's my favorite foundation. I mean, I have it in three shades. So I love it, but we are gonna dive in. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade 220N Custard. This is, I think, like the medium kind of shade I have. You have like 140, 220, and 330. So it's like super pale winter, spray tan, summer in between. So I'm hoping this one's gonna work out for me, but it is a super thick foundation. There's still a little bit, it's like slightly runny. So this is kind of described as everything under the sun. <laughs> like it's matte, it's full coverage, but it's luminous and glowy and hydrating at the same time. And I kind of find that to be true. It's a very velvet finish on the skin. I just put a lot on, by the way. This is, when, like I said, full coverage. This is full coverage. This is paint. But oh, I mean, just like, what skin? Don't have any. We're just blending all of that away. Had a stressful week and I don't want to think about it. But you can just see the difference from this side to this side. It is so intense, so full coverage. I love it so much. Like I said, oh, it smells so good, but it is insanely fragranced. I mean fragranced, okay? So if you are not into that, you do not like that, your skin is sensitive to that, do not use this. Don't use it. If you don't like full coverage, super glam, looking like a Barbie makeup, do not use this. But if you wanna be super glam, you want full coverage Instagram, boom makeup that makes your skin look flawless, step in line. This is the one for you, I love it so much. But I'm gonna blend this on the rest of my face and then we'll be back for my next step, y'all. 
Okay, next I'm gonna be going in with the Huda Beauty Tantor. I love this product so much. It's like a cream to powder bronzer slash contour product. It's a really great undertone, slightly warm, but cool toned enough to give you that contour. So like they say, Tantor. I have it in two shades, medium and fair. These absolutely run dark. So medium I kind of use when I'm wearing it under a foundation, kind of doing the Scott Barnes method or painting backwards, reverse foundation, however you wanna say it. It's really dark and that's just medium, hey girl. But I'm gonna be using Fair today because Fair is still really dark in my opinion. It's just far deeper than I expected. It's a beautiful color. You can see I use this like crazy. Love this so much. But I apply this very differently from my other cream bronzers. I take kind of a fluffier brush. I dip it in there. This is super pigmented, so get it on there. But I like to tap this off on like a palette or something just to get the excess product off of there. Take that. And then I'm gonna start right on that cheekbone and we're gonna chisel out this face. Okay, so I've done this side of my face. I haven't done this side yet. I haven't touched my nose, but I just love the warmth. It gives my skin, but it really does shape my face still. It's such a good color. It blends out beautifully on like just the foundation by itself or over powders. I'm gonna put a little bit on later. Can I touch it up at the very end? I like to really deepen my contour a little bit. Like I feel like it gets kind of lost when I do it at the beginning of my foundation. This product works beautifully on top of powders, on other cream products, just blends like a dream. Looks so good, I love it. Okay, but I'm going to warm up the rest of my face and then we will be back to conceal these under eyes cause whoop, not been sleeping y'all. Okay, I don't know about y'all, but my sleep schedule has been whacked. So my under eyes are extra dark. So we are gonna go in with the concealer of all concealers. It's the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. I have it in two shades. I have it in Sugar Biscuit 12G and Coconut Flakes 10N, 10 neutral, LOL. Couldn't even get that out of my mouth right now. But this has really interesting packaging. It's got this tip, I believe it's Zamac or something like that. I'll link what it's called down below. It's like a cooling applicator and you squeeze the product out. That is probably more than enough. This concealer is so intense, so full coverage. It's definitely on the matte side, but it's one of the few truly matte concealers that look beautiful on my skin. I don't know how she does it. But I'm actually gonna take this foundation brush and I'm gonna tap it out with this. I don't always do this, but lately I've been liking my concealer with a brush. So I'm just gonna go in with this and then I'll tap out the rest with my finger. Okay, do we see the level of full coverage here? Okay, hi, 12 hours of sleep, hi, one hour of sleep. It is insane. I love this concealer so much. This will hide your sins. It'll hide your debt. This will hide your fears of uh, COVID. <laughs> this is so good. Sorry, I switched to a sponge. I, it's like literally habit. It was here. I use it for the powder. Couldn't help myself. Um, but if you don't love a full coverage super glam moment, I would not recommend this. But if you, like I said, you want the full glam, you want the paint, you want the everything, this is the concealer for you. It is just so good. It's super full coverage, but I still go in with a little more. Probably gonna brighten up a couple parts of my face. But I'm gonna blend this in and then we're gonna jump right into baking. Okay, now let's jump right into the baking powder. This, this is the product that started my obsession. This is Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder. I have it in the shade Pound Cake. So, so freaking good. It's kind of a net packaging in here. So I'm just gonna dip my sponge in there, load it up. Hello, powder. It's a party in here. Make sure there is no creasing. That already, well, I mean, like there's gonna be some. Hello, my under eyes are <laughs> real rough right now. But I'm gonna take that and we're gonna just bake these bad boys. Get the side of my nose really well. Go right up there. Boom, yes! The crazier you look, 
the more it's working. But I'm gonna let these under eyes bake for a little bit, then I will be back, I will have set my face, warmed it up with a little more Tantor, and then we will move on to the eyes. Okay, am I Huda yet? Yes! Okay, totally kidding, but I've always seen those pictures online and I was like, have to recreate it. But we are gonna dive into the Desert Dusk palette. Oh my gosh, it is so, so pretty. I am probably most obsessed with this. I have quite a few. I have the Neon Obsessions, couple of these. I have the Rose Pastel. I have three of these. I have the blue, the green, the ruby. So beautiful. I love this formula. But I've actually not used this on camera or used this at all. I haven't used this on my eyes whatsoever. So I'm so excited to dive into this. So I'm going to grab a brush. I just grabbed a handful. I was like, I never know what I'm gonna need. And I'm constantly like, oh, I wish I would've grabbed this one. And then I don't have it. So I'm just gonna grab everything I need. But I'm going to grab oh, something a little bigger than that. Kind of a bigger fluffy brush. And I'm going to dive into the shade Eden. It's kind of a peachy transition shade. I know, revolutionary, a warm transition shade. <laughs> but I'm gonna take that just above my crease. Okay, now that I got Eden up there that is looking so beautiful, I'm gonna go in with a slightly smaller brush, still fluffy. I'm gonna go into the shade right next to it actually. It's called Amber. It's like a beautiful, I would call it like a warm red undertone mocha. Beautiful, tap that off. I'm gonna lift that, lift up my eye, and buff that right into my natural crease. gosh these colors just build beautiful depth together it is so blendable doesn't lose all of its pigment as I start to blend it out it still stays super vibrant I am so impressed with her shadow formula like 90% of the time there are a few of like the topper shades that I'm not that impressed with the ones in here I actually really love but let's say like the rose pastels palette there's like the, this shade here is just okay for me and this shade here is just okay for me. The rest of them are beautiful. Like her actual metallic shades are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, kill me, they're amazing. But the topper shades, I'm just kind of like, eh, they're a little lackluster for me. I want the full sensation. Yes, yes, blend this up a little bit higher. Okay, this is so beautiful. I am going to grab a smaller brush. Okay, so I got this little packing brush and I'm actually gonna take this really bright kind of orangey shade called Blazin and I'm gonna pop that on the outer third of my lid here. First, kind of onto the lid as well, I think. About, mm, take over three fourths of my lid and really pack that shade. I want it to pack a punch. Ooh, that is so beautiful she said this palette is based off the beautiful sunsets in Dubai and I absolutely get like a warm beautiful just vivid sunset this multicolor just all the colors of the desert I'm obsessed with that I think it is so beautiful I think like a mirage okay now that I got that all over the lid I'm gonna go in with what noise was that? That was strange. What story of my life. I'm gonna go in with this, this kind of brush here. I'm gonna go into shade next to it, Saffron. It's kind of like a deep, ugh, I don't know how to describe that color. A very deep kind of maroon shade. Tap that off there. I just wanna push this right on the outer third here. I don't want it to be too deep. But I do wanna add a little depth. Yep. That is so pretty. Let me stamp a little bit more of that on. Okay, so I stamped some more of that on there and then I'm gonna go in with the first brush I was blending stuff out with. I'm gonna soften that up, take that and define the crease just a little bit more. Okay, this is looking so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with it so far. All right, I'm gonna copy this in my other eye and then we'll be back and let's play with some shimmer, y'all. <laughs> because I'm me and I'm a creature of habit, every time I get off camera, I'm like, 
Ooh, I should blow some color out on my lower lash line and then I forget to film it. So here we are. But I blew out some color on my lower lash line. I am loving it and I'm taking another packing brush. I'm gonna take the shade Blood Moon. It's like a beautiful copper. I don't know if you can see it on the brush here. And I'm just gonna pack this right here on the inside, working my way up my crease, kind of cutting it slightly, not really. Focusing it in here. And I'm gonna take a teeny tiny little brush and I'm gonna take the shade Nefertiti, just a gold shade, and I'm gonna highlight this inner corner. Oh, that is so beautiful. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I love that. That's equally shimmery and has a little bit of glitter in it, but it is pretty glitter. Okay, I am loving this, but I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera and then we will be back to try the product we've all been waiting for, Legit Lash Mascara. I am so, so excited. This has been so hyped and I'm ready to get this on my lashes. So I will see you here in just a second. Okay, everybody, we are back. I have actually applied my current favorite mascara duo right now. I currently use two mascaras on the daily to get the kind of lash I want. My lashes are stick straight, they kind of point down, they are not very long, and it's a pain in the ass. So, I use Marc Jacobs the Velvet Noir Mascara that has a really, like, kind of fluffy brush, but it deposits a lot of product at the base. And then, I use the CoverGirl Clump Crusher, wow. Cover Girl Clump Crusher. Say that five times fast, y'all. It's this really plasticky kind of separating brush. So when I saw the Huda one, I was like, time out. Are you about to give me the mascara of my actual dreams? I'm not gonna have to use two anymore. I just have them in one little thing. So we are gonna find out now. I'm gonna take this out of the package. So first things first, I actually love the packaging. It is so cool. It's actually in the shape of a diamond. I didn't even notice that until like 10 minutes after I got it. And then I was like, ah, it's the little details. But this end is the length and curl. So this looks almost identical to my CoverGirl wand, okay? And then the other side looks more, I would say I would liken it to, gosh, I don't know. I don't know a mascara that looks like this one. It's a plasticky wand. So this is where it differs from my Marc Jacobs. So I'm nervous that volume is gonna mean clump city. So I'm just gonna wipe some of that off on here. I actually like how long this is. It makes it really easy to hold. The shape of it is very like, I don't know, intuitive. It feels really good, like I have a lot of control. But I'm just gonna dive in. Woo, wish me luck, y'all. Okay, so already, oh my gosh, this is insane. This claims to be the volume side and it is, it's giving me a lot of volume, but it's still making them look really, really long. Like it already looks better than this one. And I literally used two. Oh my, I'm actually shook right now. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna let that hang out for two seconds. Maybe I'll apply more. See if, okay, let me try to build it up. Let me compete here, I'll build more. Okay, I can kind of get it there. It's already falling a little bit. Okay, okay, they're kind of looking the same. I'm gonna go in now with the curl and length side, the kind of little one that looks like my cover girl. And let's see if this is gonna do what my cover girl does and really, oh wow. This, are you kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna come really close for you here. I'm gonna look up. Oh God, I'm probably getting transfer right now. Who knows? Oh my gosh, Huda Beauty, the other two mascaras. What do we think? Oh wow, okay. This looks identical, if not better already. I am so happy. So the big test is my eyes water in the corners a little bit. So we'll see if this runs throughout the day. I'll leave it in notes below. I'll wear it all day long. I'll make sure to try to watch a sad movie. So we'll see if it can last through some tears. It doesn't claim to be water resistant, but we'll see how well it lasts through any of that. Maybe some sweat. But so far, you guys, I am so impressed. Legit lashes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, this is a hit. I am very, very into this. This by itself is $27, whereas this is $32, and then this is anywhere from like, nine to twelve dollars depending on where i find it so this is going to save me so much money in the long run because it's literally doing all of the work for me oh my gosh 
Legit Lashes is absolutely too legit to quit. Wow, I am so lame. I could, I've been sitting on that for a while now. Okay, everybody, I finished off the look with the Demi Matte Lip Cream in the shade Chica. I love it so much. So comfortable, super pigmented, and lasts forever. I am so, so, so happy. This Full Face Huda is so fun. I love the brand. It is so good, super glam. So if you want, like I said, if you want the full beat, the full makeup fantasy, Huda Beauty is the brand for you. But if you just want badass lashes, y'all, this legit lashes mascara is so, so good. Oh my gosh. The fact that it's replacing two products that I've been obsessed with for a while it has me shook. I am just so shocked. It looks so beautiful. My lashes look full, thick. It's slightly lifting them, even though they are literally impossible to get them to lift. I am in love. So, so impressed. But that brings us to the end of today's video. If you like what you saw today and you wanna see more content like this, don't forget, comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Click on my face so you can subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you can see every time I post something new. And as always, thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all.